comes to you from the little town of Winchester, Indiana. And right now, you're looking down the front chute at Winchester Speedway, one of the fastest half-mile tracks in America. And this is their season opener. It's a little bit chilly out here today, but by the same token, we got a whole load of sprint cars here, and we're gonna watch them go in a 50-lap main event, and it should be a sizzler. For car and track, this race represents Winchester Revisited. It was a little over a year ago when we made our first stop at this high-banked half-mile oval and filmed the sensational Neymar Midget Meet. It was then that we learned about the super mods and sprinters that gather on a regular basis at this track. Some of the best drivers and fastest cars in the Midwest were the ingredients that brought us back. The lineup for the main event inverted the six fastest cars, putting Bobby Kinser in number 65 on the pole, with car six, Danny Landis, starting alongside. In the third position was 28, driven by Ed Lute, and 99, Bill Heaney, was in the fourth spot. In the third row, starting fifth, is the double O with Gary Albritton aboard. Next to him, in the sixth pole, is the zero car, driven by Todd Gibson, who was today's fastest qualifier at a shade over 16 seconds at 111.10 miles per hour. A little further back in the pack are names like Butch Wilkerson, Greg Leffler, Marv Carmen, Sammy Sessions, and Joe Saldana. A host of good drivers round out of the fourth turn for the green flag. Now watch them run. Through turn one, the scramble is on as all cars jockey for position. Number six, Danny Landis jumps out into the lead with 65, Bobby Kinzer second, and Bill Heaney in car 99 running third. In turn three, Heaney puts the rush on Bobby Kinser and charges underneath to take over second. Car six, Danny Landis leads all cars down the back chute, but Gibson and All Britain are back in the pack and they're really coming on. Moving on to the front chute, Todd Gibson puts his zero car in the high groove and fires past Kinser to take over third. It's Landis, Heaney, Gibson, and Gary Albritton has now put his double-O car in the fourth spot. Marv Carmen, who started way back, is now running sixth. Down the front chute, Gibson dives into the low group to move up on Heaney. Now there's a three-way battle for first. Here he comes. Todd Gibson lets it all hang out. On the inside, he explodes past Heaney and Landis. The zero car has now become the front runner. It's Todd Gibson in front, 99 Phil Heaney second, Gary Albritton in the double O has moved into third. Now Marv Carmen finds daylight under Danny Landis and grabs the fourth spot. Todd's car is handling beautifully, but he still can't stretch the pack. And it looks as though Albritton and Carmen have the speed to close on it. On the back shoot, Gary Albritton outdrags Heaney, and in the third turn, he owns the second place spot. Todd Gibson tries to close the door, but Albritton presses him harder on every lap. Seven down low, passes Heaney for third, and begins the charge on the leaders. Britain is within striking distance of Todd Gibson, but the boy to watch is Marv Carmen. He's blown off a lot of cars to move up to third, and he just keeps on coming. Whew, that was close. Gibson slashed down low, All Britain backed off, and Carmen tucked him in the rear end. They're running hard, fast, and close. On the back shoot, it's Gibson high, All Britain low, with Carmen in the pocket. Todd finds that Gary has just a little more punch, and in the third turn, the double-O car is the new leader. In the fourth pocket, Marv Carmen unleashes his number 77, and he too passes Gibson to take over second. Now he's going for the big one. One of the top sprint car drivers in the country is in car number nine, Sammy Sessions. 
Like Marv Carmen, he also started way back in the field and has now moved into the fourth spot. Look out, here he comes. Marv Carmen drops down low in the fourth turn and on the front straight, he screams the silver bullet underneath Gary Albritton to hit the number one jackpot slot. Britain is second, with Todd Gibson now running third in the zero car. Carmen is really moving now. He's wound out and running away. The white is out. One more lap, and Marv Carmen kisses the queen. In the first turn, Todd Gibson is not about to settle for third and passes all Britain to move back into second. Onto the front chute, Marv Carmen's number 77 is a blur under the checkered flag, and it's quitting time. Todd Gibson brings his zero car home for second. Gary Albright takes third in the double O, with Sammy Sessions finishing fourth. Carmen brings the silver flash to a halt on the main straightaway. He started 14th and finished first. And you can do it on a track like Winchester. It's extremely fast and wide, offering plenty of room for passing and a ton of action. Marv gets the kiss, the check, and the trophy. And with his number 77, this kind of finale could become a habit.